A wireless microphone can come in handy in a ton of scenarios. Obviously, if you are a working event professional or you own some sort of venue, you're gonna have wireless microphones. But even for home use, like karaoke night or a family reunion, it's nice to have one on hand. I've reviewed plenty of wireless microphones on this channel, but often they have big, bulky receivers that are more aimed towards the professional market. Today, though, I have something a little bit different. This is the Phoenix Pro PDP-1. If you've been to this channel before, you know I'm a fan of Phoenix Pro. They're putting out amazing audio gear and this is a very compact digital UHF microphone with a battery powered receiver that really could fit in just about any space it's gonna be good for a lot of those scenarios where you don't need a giant microphone setup like I mentioned home karaoke family reunions a get-together in the park this could be your solution in this video today I'm gonna unbox it show you what comes in the packaging tell you about the setup process and my experience using it and give you a demo of the sound quality now if you're new here my name is Jordan this is the Phase Reviews YouTube channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome back as always. Before I crack this baby open, make sure that you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell because all of those help me to keep bringing you content each and every week. We won't waste any more time though. Let's take a look at this Phoenix Pro PDP-1. On the packaging itself, which looks really, really nice, I'll just point out a few specs that I think are worth knowing. This is a 48 kilohertz, 24-bit UHF digital circuit microphone. If you don't know, that just means it's got good audio quality. One tap frequency selection, there are actually 15 selectable frequencies, so if you're having issues with dropouts or bad reception, you can cycle through those and find one that is free. There's also uh, 200 feet of wireless range, so as long as you've got line of sight, which we'll talk about in just a minute, you should be able to use this in a smaller space, no issue at all. You can mute the transmitter, it's plug and go, very simple to set up, which you'll see in just a moment, and the built-in battery on the receiver is 1500 milliamps and can last you up to six hours of playtime. But enough specs, let's crack this guy open. So when we uh, pop open the box, the first thing you're gonna see is your user manual. This is very comprehensive, Phoenix does a great job with their user manuals for being a lesser known company, and it walks you through everything you need to get set up with this microphone. I'll turn Alternatively, you could just watch this video with me. The other things that are in the package besides the transmitter itself, which we'll talk about, are a USB-C cable, if I can get it out. USB-C cable for charging the receiver. Always love to see USB-C. That's just becoming the standard now. They do include a converter to take the quarter inch jack, the bigger headphone jack, down to the smaller, you know, three and a half mil headphone jack that we all know and love. And then they also include a right angle adapter. This is really handy because to get the best uh, range and signal out of this system, you want to have the transmitter vertical with the antenna pointing up. So if your input uh, or your output on your TV or your mixer or your device has it pointing downward or at an angle, you can use this quarter inch to point the antenna in the air. Now speaking of the antenna, this is the receiver portion of the unit. Like I mentioned, it's battery powered, although you could use it plugged in. And the construction on this thing is great. In line with all of Phoenix Pro's other products, it's got a metal housing. It feels really hefty and robust in your hand. Of course, there's a battery in there as well. You can see the antenna on here, which is flexible. And then you have your charging port, as well as one large multifunction button on the top. This has a one quarter inch, where did I put my adapter? One quarter inch uh, jack right there, but you can use this to size it down to the headphone jack, or you can use your adapter to put it at a right angle. Okay, that is the receiver, and then we've also got our transmitter. I also should mention that they did include batteries in the package, mine are now in the transmitter for testing, but there are some in there, so you're good to go out of the box. This is also a full metal construction build with the exception of this little plastic cap at the bottom, but otherwise, it feels really nice. It's on par with the quality of their professional DJ microphone systems, which is really, really nice to see. And this doesn't have a weird, funky, kind of kitschy gold and, and blue and weird, you know, setup for that they aim at like kids and consumer market. This looks professional and nice, so I would have no issues using this in a setting where I cared about, you know, the looks of the system. You've got a digital display right here which will show you your channel and your battery. You've got a multifunction button here which powers on and off the unit as well as mutes it. And then if you unscrew the cap here, we've got our battery compartment along with our button right here to change the channel. Now, pairing these up is very, very simple. I'll actually keep that off. First thing you wanna do is power on the receiver, okay? Once that's on, you'll see the light right there. And then you just power up this. That'll come on. The light will briefly flash. Uh, it actually may have already happened, it's so quick. And they're paired, it's that simple, okay? So if I were to talk into this, hello, hello, you can see we've got some flashing there, 
meaning that we're getting signal, okay? That's just demonstrating that there is an audio signal coming through. Now on the display of this, we have channel one, we've also got the signal strength, and we've got the battery readout. Now let's say you're using the microphone and you're getting dropout or some issues. All you have to do is go down to this little thing right here. Wait, I'll make sure that's in the thing. And you just click that button and you can cycle through the different channels. So we'll go to channel five. There are 15 to choose from. And then to pair it, you just have to click the single button right here and that will pair. So now if I'm to talk into this, you can see we've got signal again. It's that simple. Change your channel on here, push the button on the receiver to pair it. It may automatically pair it as you go. This thing is pretty great. So I'll just uh, cycle the channel. Actually, I'll keep it on five, no issues there. Let me do a sound demo for you. I've got some speakers set up in the living room. I'll go out there and speak into this so that you can hear how it works. All right, so now I wanted to give you a audio demo of the Phoenix Pro PDP-1. You can see I've got some speakers set up behind me right here. I'm probably, I don't know, maybe 25 feet in front of the speakers and there is zero detectable latency that I can tell the digital UHF sounds fantastic. As far as the audio quality goes, my voice is super full, plenty of low, mid, and high ends, nothing is emphasized at all, and there's very minimal handling noise on this microphone. You know, probably some of the least amount that I've heard on any handheld microphone, even from the big name brand company. So I'm very, very impressed in that, that regard. Um, no feedback issues here at all. I don't know if there's any sort of audio gate which turns off the signal when it gets too low or below a certain threshold because it does seem like my voice just kind of drops off at the very end of when I speak. But honestly, very, very impressed with the quality of this microphone. Um, Off-axis off rejection is very, very good. Over here on the side, you can't really hear anything. And then if I talk from the back, there really is uh, practically nothing, okay? Um, there are some plosives, you can hear that pump, pump, pump when I talk, um, but nothing more worse than any other microphone. I'm gonna walk to the far end of the house and speak into it so that you can hear how it sounds through a few walls, maybe 75 feet away. All right, so I'm on the far end of the house and not having any dropout issues at all. The signal is still just as quick, no latency, the quality is fantastic, and although it says to use line of sight, I'm really not having any issues right now at all. I've said it before on this channel, but YouTube audio demos are not my favorite. By the time it's recorded in my mic, uploaded, edited, compressed by YouTube, all that stuff, it's not gonna sound the same coming out of your speakers, but I did wanna share that I do think that the audio quality of this is fantastic, especially considering the footprint, the price, and who this microphone is aimed at. You will have probably the karaoke night of the whole neighborhood if you use this guy. It's gonna sound much better than a cheap wired microphone or any other you know budget affordable mic on Amazon. Um, pros for this unit, metal build quality of both the transmitter and the receiver, really good design. The sound quality is obviously phenomenal and the range lives up to the 200 foot. Uh, mark. I tested it out in the backyard, walked all the way out across the pond. I've filmed those before. They're not very fun to watch, but trust me, it works. Okay. Uh, antenna, do make sure you have line of sight. When it comes to cons, you know, any sort of, uh, you know, brick walls, lots of bodies, phones between this and that may cause interference. I wish this had like scanning frequencies, but you can only get so much in a small system like this. So choose your battles. All in all though, the Phoenix Pro PDP-1 is a winner in my book. If you're not looking to buy a full rack mountable, large multi wireless mic system, you just want something simple to use for a party with your friends, this is the ticket. So if you wanna grab one of these, I'll include a link down in the description below. You can go buy through there to support the channel. I would of course love you for it. If you're not looking to grab one of these today, that's fine. Go ahead, ring the notification bell, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, like the video. All those things help me to keep bringing you content each and every week. That's gonna be it for today though. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.